Well, it was LSU leading from wire to wire and posting a 56-37 victory against Little Rock on the road. The Tigers winning their fifth consecutive game with Leah Secondo, a three-time Hall of Famer. I'm Lynn Rollins. Two things stood out in this LSU victory. Number one was squeaking defense by the tennis shoes of the LSU Tigers as they threw a variety of defenses against Little Rock. And the other was Chloe Jackson, who was unstoppable offensively. Well, Chloe Jackson established her offensive presence, I think, early on in this first and second quarter of the game. And impressive 50% from free point land on the evening. Third consecutive, third consecutive game, but third time this season where she has scored 23 points. And she was doing it in a variety of spots on the floor. She worked hard early in the offense to get to those open spots. She worked hard after that to try to create some situations if she didn't have the spot to at least give it up to one of her teammates. And three of her seven three-pointers that she's made this season came in this game against Little Rock. Well, and it was a, it was a variety of things, too. Four for five from the free throw line. I like the fact she was getting from the line. And also, five boards on the night as well. So contributing offensively and defensively in this LSU victory. And one more word about the LSU defense. It held Little Rock to a season's low 37 points and forced 25 turnovers. Neither team shot well. The difference really was from three-point range and at the free throw line for LSU. And converting and being able to get those second chance opportunities. 13 offensive boards tonight points off of turnovers for LSU 20 points off of turnovers. that is a P rogue pull LSU now with one more non-conference game before SEC play starts 56 37 the final from Little Rock LSU a winner over the Trojans <laughs>